If you want to see what I picked up at Aldi today, then keep watching. Hey friends, it's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Gold. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome, welcome so friends. I just got back from Aldi. It is a rainy, yucky day out as you can see, um, but I haven't done an Aldi haul in quite a while, so I thought, you know, hey, let's go ahead and do one real quick. I didn't have many frozen or refrigerated items, so I thought I can get that out to you real quick. So um, I'm pretty excited. There is an item that I purchased today that I really, really wanted from the Isle of Shame. Um, if you don't know what that is, it is that aisle that has all the fun little Aldi finds, and it changes out every week, and when they're gone, they're gone. Um, but anyway, uh, I thought I'd go ahead and share this haul with you. So let me stop talking and we'll jump right on in. Alrighty, we're going to start over here. I picked up some of the Casa Mamita Verde Street Taco Sauce. This is something new that came out. is the green chili medium um, salsa con queso. Um, you all know I like my con queso, so I thought I would try that one. I picked up two cans of black beans, two cans of green chilies, and a can of refried beans. I am going to be having um, some recipes coming out that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. I'm not sure if it'll be out before this one or after, but if it's um, after, I will definitely link it in the description box. Um, I've been wanting to get the Cupid's Brew Coffee Collection. Um, I got the last one. It was kind of just sitting on the shelf all by itself, so I'm pretty excited about that because that came out like a week or two ago. I picked up a box of just the chicken noodle soup. My husband will eat that sometimes just for a quick lunch when he doesn't have a lot of time. Um, I picked up some onion soup mix for my meatloaf and other recipes. I have some flour tortillas. And I picked up three boxes of the rotini pasta. I also wanted to get the, um, uh, what are those twisty ones? I can't remember what they're called. Or not twisty ones, the penne. These are the twisty ones, duh. I wanted to get some penne, but... They did not have any. They, they didn't have hardly any pasta left on the shelf. I picked up a bag of mixed berry frozen fruit for some um, shakes. I picked up a bag of lemons. I have garlic bread. I always pick this up and throw it in the freezer every time I go because they don't always have this. So every time I go, I pick it up, throw it in the freezer, and that way I'll have at least one or two loaves in the um, freezer. So when I have like baked spaghetti or lasagna or something, I always have garlic bread. I picked up three bags of the granola protein, um, oats and honey. We like that in our yogurts. I have some red onion. And then I have four boxes of the English breakfast tea. That's my husband's favorite tea. So I stocked up on that. I have a can of cut green beans, two cans of diced tomato, and I'm making another recipe, um, a soup recipe with this three cheese tortellini, and I'll link that as well in the description box if you're interested. I have a container of beef stock and three of the chicken stock. I really wanted the broth, they didn't have it, so I had to get go with the stock, which is fine, not a big deal some vanilla Greek yogurt, the little potatoes. I love these in the air fryer. They're absolutely delicious. We like the on the border Mexican style cafe style um, tortilla chips. I always bought the Aldi ones and then when I tried these, I'm like, oh man, I can't go back. <laughs> so we buy these. Uh, a little box of, or six pack of little boxes of raisins. And I picked up for my son some of the confetti cake mini muffins and the blueberry muffins. Picked up a thing of Chips Ahoy, some oatmeal creams, Oreo cookies, and some dried pineapple. And the one thing, which is my last item that I'm most excited about, <laughs> is this baking yesteryear. I watch him on YouTube. And you all know if you've been following me, I do a throwback recipe once a month. So I am so excited to sit down and go through this recipe book. I am just oh, I'm so excited. So friends, this is everything that I purchased. Comment below. Let me know if you end up guessing it right or if you came close. Ready? 
$120.35. I didn't think that was bad for everything that I purchased. All right, my friends, so that'll do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that little subscribe button as it does greatly help me out. And also, please go check me out over on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and TikTok as I am active on all those social media sites as well. So friends, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.